everyone. This is Gabby and Cameron from Andromeda Pictures. We're here with Jamie Valdanza, the creator of <laughs> Wildlands Wild Horses. And we're at her private horse rescue. Yeah, look at all you this. You can see everyone here behind us. A couple Mustangs here. In Allentown, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And yes. we're just here to chat with Jamie. We met all the horses. Donkey and sheep and pigs mm -hmm. and, dogs. and dogs. Yeah, dogs, we saw the dogs. Course. The only ones you didn't meet are the cats. I think I did. I did see one cat. You did see one cat. One cat. Yeah. I. I yeah. We love cats. We love cats here. <laughs> Actually, right. Cameron hates them. What? No. No. Cameron's just a hater. He hates everything. <laughs> He's just pretending. I'm glad we saw what the dogs. That? What? That is a vulture. Tornado. Yeah, that's a turkey vulture. So they oh, look for awesome. carcasses and. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. And they like to sit in the trees and bask oh, their awesome. winds. Awesome. Do you ever huge. get pictures of them? Like. No, nah, I'm too oh. lazy. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to go? <laughs> All right. So Jamie. Hey, come here. So oh, this is who's this? this? That's Denali. Hi um, Denali. She is a Mustang from Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Amazing. That's and amazing. Our, and how many of the horses here are Mustangs? So there's four Mustangs and a wild burro, and then we oh. have one coming in a couple weeks. Oh, cool. Oh, amazing. So Jamie is very passionate about, about Mustangs. <laughs> <Yeah. and Denali. laughs> her, documentary, right? her documentary, Wildlands Wild Horses, highlights mm -hmm. the Mustang breed. So can you talk a little bit about your inspiration for that? And you started out in corporate America. So yeah. we'll talk, yeah. talk about how you ended up rescuing horses and making, oh my goodness, Denali. <laughs> And making uh, the documentary. <laughs> sure. So um, I worked in advertising as a art director and creative director. And I, you know, I was working the 80 hour week and I just felt like something was seriously missing in my life. So I just kind of broke down at my desk one day because I knew animals were my passion. I knew about horse slaughter. And then I would look up horse slaughter and see that wild horses that I knew nothing about because I'm from the yeah. East Coast um, <laughs> would fall into the uh fall into the slaughter yeah. pipeline and then i just became obsessed Sad. with them and don't i'm like that. you know don't what i'm just gonna go out there and see them for myself <laughs> we're good <laughs> just don't mind us <laughs> so um no Here, okay all right come on girl. Come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> i could just stand on this yeah all right we'll go. we're gonna keep her away <laughs> all right, all right we're good let's go so, um, the show must go on wild horses kept falling into the slaughter pipeline and i really wanted to learn more about them and the best way to do that is to go out and see them for yourself so i picked up my camera and i never looked back and so you had some experience with photography prior to yes um so as an art director i always kind of worked with photographers on print ad shoots and stuff like that and they've always kind of inspired me so i always did it as a hobby i was never really a professional photographer but as I started going west and taking photos, people really wanted to buy the prints, which of course, you know, yeah, I'll sell them. But I didn't go for school, go to school or stink or, bug. Oh god, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is the best, this one, is, this best place interview we've like, done yet. This place is like Australia. The yeah. spiders are here. Or like, yeah. Oh no, don't tell me that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is going great. Yeah. We're nailing this interview. <laughs> Okay, so how so you went out west and the goal was just to take photographs of the horses? Just photograph them. Oh, so um, it wasn't a film at first. It was not a film. Oh, okay. I became obsessed with photographing them because um, it was something that I learned and did well. And it was the best way I could bring awareness to the East Coast um, was using something that I was, I like to say, decent at. And um, <laughs> yeah, so and then it We've just kind your of... pictures. You're good. Thank you. You're yeah, allowed to you're say being it. Modest. You're being modest. <laughs> so it, it just picked up and then I was like, I can do more. And since my, um, you know, commercial background, I was familiar with film sets and the process. So I'm like, I'm gonna make a docu series. Like no one's done a docu series awesome. yeah. on wild horses. It's always been that. just one documentary mm -hmm. um, because the horses. There's so many different horses in 10, 12 different states, and yeah. they all have a story to tell. It's not the same story. They all have their different issues. Yeah. Um, some are thriving, some are not, and I think it's important for everyone to Hang see on. that. <laughs> so that's Floyd. He's a wild burro from Double A, Arizona, and he is the farm favorite. He loves people. Yeah. He didn't always love people, but he loves Aww. people now, and he always has to come up and say hi. That's cute, yeah. And as we learned from our interview with Denise, yeah. down in, where was that? Atlanta, Georgia. In, in Georgia. It's like Atlanta. What's, not, in what's, Georgia. What's it? What's it? I'm wearing her shirt. What's it? Down, oh, yes. Iron Gate yeah. Ritual. Iron Gate. <laughs> What's the city? Waleska. Oh, Waleska. Waleska. As we learned in Waleska, Georgia, 
donkeys help to scare off all of the coyotes yes. that come and try to attack the other farm animals. They are That's herd, prote yeah. herd protectors. It's amazing. And if I jump out of the that. camera, this guy's really close to here. I'm gonna go. Come on, she, buddy. She has no boundaries, so yeah. we're working on that. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It's perfect. So, Jamie, what's your goal with the documentary? So I have a couple goals. Um, first is just to bring a national awareness to America's wild horses. Being from the East Coast, you never really hear about them. You don't know they exist. People see, like if I trail ride around here and see that I'm riding a Mustang, they're just blown away that we have wild horses in America. So I just kind of <laughs> want to make America fall in love with the horse and know that oh, they exist. Yeah. Um, another thing is they are endangered of being rounded up. Um, you know, there's so it's so multifaceted all the different issues that they have. So I think by bringing awareness to them, people can find better solutions to help them. Yeah. And then the third thing is adoption. There are so many horses that are rounded up into government facilities, and the only way yeah. out is to get adopted by civilians or or programs or sanctuaries. But I think if more people actually see how beautiful these horses are yeah. and they can do anything they can do yeah. dressage they can do hunter jumper they can do barrel yeah. racing they're so multifaceted yeah. so <laughs> my hope is people will see them and be like i want to adopt a mustang oh. and you did something unique where you talk about each herd so the basis of the documentary series is that we're going to go to 10 to 12 different herds in different states and they all have their own issues they're all yeah. on different landscapes and terrain so they live a lot differently and in some cases, you know, horses are thriving, the land is plentiful, there's nothing wrong with it. And in other places, it's desert, there's no water. So I think it's hmm. really yeah. important for people to see that each herd should be treated differently and yeah. not one rule for everyone. Yeah. Just like people, right? Yeah. Just like people. Yeah. We all have exactly. our own amazing. things going on. One size does not fit all. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I think people overlook that in the animal world sometimes. They do. Yeah. They, everyone just gets lumped into one category and yeah. like, all right, this is what we're going to do. But you know what? That's for not going to work for that herd. Yeah. And that's not going to work for that herd. So, it's also part of the bureaucracy too, the government that doesn't... For sure. I mean, even... there's so many things going on and there's so many levels of government that are actually involved with the wild horses. Um, I mean, for any real change, there will need to be amendments made yeah. into the Grazing Act and the Wild Horse Borough Act so they can have more land. Um, yeah, and what was the Grazing Act? The was... 1934 Taylor Grazing Act. And what that does, it basically gives ranchers the right to lease the <laughs> land for... <laughs> <laughs> for um, on our public lands um, and the livestock and ranchers they share that with our wild horses um, so there are some range wars going on um, in some cases it's bad in some cases it's not I mean there are ranchers there are people out there are ranchers who are not bad people out there yeah. so we have to also keep in mind you can't categorize every rancher as a bad person yeah and every advocate's a crazy person and every barrel of land management person is an asshole like you yeah. can't because yeah. everyone's an individual exactly just like the just herds. like you described yeah so with the docuseries we really want to give everyone a voice so we can start the conversation and hopefully i'll just sit down at a table and start working out solutions i love it it's fantastic that's amazing yeah i've been getting a lot of heat about it like advocates will be like why are you talking to the borough land management and then anti-advocates will be like you're romanticizing it too much, and I'm like, I can't win. Another this yeah, is how you, you know you never will. that you're I going in the right you. direction. Yeah, you you're never going to win. The backlash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like a oh, good, I'm on a good sign good thing. now. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Hey, so nice. I know. So where can people watch yeah. the oh. doc? The docu series, sorry, the pilot to the docu series, is it a, is it available yeah. for the public or can we just see the trailer? So the, there's tons of clips on YouTube, but right now we're doing the film festival circuit. We've been cool. accepted into about eleven of them. Um, some of them are already viewed, we're done, okay. but there, if you go to my Facebook or the website, there's a schedule on where you can see them. Cool. And the website is below. So you can check it out. <laughs> check it out! Yeah. Thanks for talking to us today, Thank you. Jamie. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me we here, love, too. Look at this place. We love it's coming amazing. here. It's a, be it's yeah. a beautiful space. It's we're really excited for this series. Yeah. Can't wait to see what Jamie does next.